And so we were getting our material from China and then some, some stuff arose with uh, a problem getting the material. And in order to get the material, we were actually going to have to fly to China and take possession of the material, sign off on it in China, and then fly back and then the material will be deliver, delivered to us that way. You know, there was no way that they were trying to let, let us get it because we had to go take possession of it, you know, and then it had to go, instead of going uh, through the air, it had to go like on train and on boat and things like that. So we had to actually go in person and take, take possession of it. And it just became too too hectic for us and chaotic. And uh, it just really wasn't in order. And then that was around the same time the Lord started giving us the vision for the farm. IG farm family it's a new day on the farm today and uh, it's a pretty relaxed day on the farm today I don't have too much going on I'm actually waiting on material so I can get back started on the wood stove hearth to do the uh, I'm waiting on the, on the tile for the backsplash of the uh, the fireplace hearth and I might go and run an errand and, and start working on getting my mantle done today but uh I'm gonna do farm chores this morning since I don't have anything major going on inside of Emma so Megan just take off from the farm chores because as you all know from the previous videos i've been giving her she's been giving me a break <laughs> at least and uh so i can focus on emma and get things done but i just told her to go ahead and leave them to me today so i'm gonna get the farm chores done and uh see what other projects i can get to around here that i've been putting off i'm gonna try not to get into too much because i've learned that you know i kind of have to pace myself and not try to take on too much at one time if i focus and take my time on one thing get back dogs nope if, if i focus and take my time on one thing then uh I can do that one thing well instead of trying to do multiple things on one day. I had this big, you know, checklist that I try to check off for that one day and then end up half doing everything. So I'm gonna get ready to get these farm chores done. You uh, know, we got a little surprise back here for y'all. I see we got a rabbit in the cage back there. But uh, Grandma and Carter, <laughs> they came yesterday. Uh, y'all know Grandma and Carter is uh, the boys' cousin, my sister's son. Uh, they came by yesterday and Carter played with the boys and they had fun playing football and basketball had a few bloody noses <laughs> but uh boys were just being boys yeah so they, they had fun and uh grandma she raises rabbits y'all know i went went by and uh i ear tag her rabbits and uh separate them and all that good stuff for her. and uh get back solo get, get. the dogs still getting used to the rabbits or the rabbit <laughs> there's only one rabbit but she had two males in her her flock her herd her colony and uh the two males started fighting usually she don't have problems out of the males fighting but uh, for some reason uh these two males she had two males that she has now started fighting and so uh she needed to get rid of one of them and i told her just bring it down here we'll figure out something to do with it uh i told her to go ahead and bring down a female too because we start maybe we can get you know get them to breed they have some rabbit rabbit babies around here <laughs> and uh, y'all know we had the <clears throat> the wild rabbit that uh you know uh, we found those wild, wild rabbits in the sheep pen and uh they all died except for one and uh, we named them harry and y'all saw him on the videos he actually got out uh you know, and ran off into the field. That was probably about two months ago, something like that. And uh, we actually we were out there putting the, putting the chickens up last night or the, the night before last, and uh, we actually saw him. <laughs> he actually almost came right up to us because uh, he stayed probably about five feet away from us, but uh, he wasn't running. You know, he kind of like we walked off and he started walking beside us, <laughs> and uh, he was looking for us to feed him. And I told Megan, I said, he's probably looking for that grain, you know, because uh, it's wintertime and no berries and all that good stuff. And so he's probably want some grain so maybe we can find a spot to give him some grain put out it around here to feed him because uh he's good strong and healthy he's doubled in size since we you know since he escaped when he was small when we had him in the pen but yeah like i said not, not too much y'all see this rooster following me crowing begging me to feed it <laughs> making these chickens but let me get these farm chores done y'all and then i'll pick y'all up throughout the day and we'll see what we can get into it's ig farms it's all about god
Give it off, give it. Stay. Stay. Come on, Solo. Get in, stay. Solo, sit. Sit, stay. 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 Good boys. Good boys. Y'all, this is the training that we're doing with the pigs because of these baby pigs here. Uh, we have a few uh, gilts, uh, female pigs that have never been bred before. That's what you call gilts. We have a few of those in here. And we also have, uh, I think they're mostly uh, castrated males. Uh, we call those barrows. Uh, males that, you know, we castrate them and cut their testicles out when they're young so that they don't develop, you know, the bull tendencies of aggression and also to prepare them, you know, for freezer camp. You know, and uh, these hogs here, these are American guinea hogs. Some of these are American guinea hogs, full-blooded. And then some of the other ones are American guinea hog, cooney cooney mix. And we're trying out this American guinea hog, cooney cooney mix for the first time. And uh, we're going to see how the meat is. Because some people say that the cooney coonies, uh, the pork is kind of like a sweeter type pork. And uh, the guinea hog pork is like a marble uh, gourmet type pork. It just has, you know, fat all throughout the meat. Like, pork is not really meant to be like a uh, white meat. You know, it's really meant to be like a... A fatty, you know, uh, uh, we, we like our meat lean, but with the guinea hogs, we can get it lean, we can get our pork lean, you know, we can also have that marbling to go throughout the meat instead of just having the, 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 the fat on the outside of the meat, if you can understand what I'm saying. But yeah, uh, we're trying to get these pigs trained up because this is our training pen here. This section, uh, in the mini, we call this the mini barn, it's our fair one barn. Uh, we put our sows in these stalls, we have four stalls, and uh, you know, we put our sows in these stalls and let them have their babies. And then we can let them out in this area. And we had this area blocked off pretty good so that the baby pigs can't get out. Because every other pen around the whole farm, it can't hold baby pigs because they're so small. And especially this breed, because this breed of pig stays pretty small for pretty long. It takes them about six months before they can get big enough to where a regular fence can hold them in. But we're just trying to get them trained up. Trying to get them trained up so they won't be afraid of us and run from us. Like, this is a big, big leap. Uh, and I can give Megan the credit for that because uh, at first these pigs wouldn't come anywhere near us and now I can actually touch them. So good job, Megan. You've been doing a good job. And uh, that's, that's another, that's one of the other main reasons that I'm doing farm tours today. It's just check up on things, you know, because uh, Megan, she does the best that she can do. 
but these farm chores and things are really like my specialty, <laughs> you know? And uh, I kind of lead out in these things. But for this season, while we're working on Emma, you know, uh, Megan decided that it would be best for her to do farm chores and me to just wake up every morning and focus on Emma and not have to do farm chores and do other projects, but to be locked in and laser focused on that. So yeah, we're just getting these pigs trained up. And I got another project I want to do in here as well. Let me show y'all. So yeah, with our new rabbit, it's all right, pigs. <laughs> with our new rabbit that we've acquired, I guess they say I'm talking too loud. With our new rabbit that we've acquired, I'm thinking about putting them in here because uh, predators aren't really gonna come in here with the pigs, like raccoons and coyotes and just whatever type of small predator that we have around here. That's all we really have: raccoons, possums, and uh, coyotes. You know, small coyotes. We don't really have coyotes too big around here. But uh, they're not gonna really come in this area. So I'm thinking about getting that rabbit and hanging that cage in here some type of way. I don't know, y'all tell me what y'all think. Let's see, one of these boards. Oh yeah, these boards, if I can get around this spider whip. Those boards, they really are strong enough. If I can find like some, uh, maybe fencing nails or something to uh, attach that cage to this spot right here. And that way, we, the, the, the rabbit will be in here in a safe spot because in the barn in there where there are no animals, once the sheep get in that, in that section where the barn is at, where the rabbit is at, he'll be fine. But right now, a raccoon will come in there and just snatch them up because raccoons, they can you know get their hands in smaller holes and things. So I think I'm going to try to hang that cage right here. And uh, yeah, unless I find a better spot in here. But I think somewhere in this this fair open barn section is a... Uh, It'll be a good spot because, like I said, none of the predators are gonna are, are gonna come in here with the pigs in here. But uh, let me just show y'all kind of our setup. And uh, some of you oldest that's been around for a while, you kind of already know the setup, and you saw it when we first built it. <laughs> and so it didn't have all the pallets and you know pit, scrap pieces of wood and everything, and it wasn't so dirty and mucky. We had wood chips and <laughs> a fresh like brick uh, DIY brick floor in here. But we had this section right here. We have a chute, so. <clears throat> there's an entrance on the other side of the mini barn back there and we're able to shoot the animals around here and they can come through here and uh we have like this little temporary setup here because we don't use the shoot right now but eventually we're gonna have a gate right here where we can shoot the animals around close the gate behind them and then this gate right here we strategically made this gate this this wide and i built it myself as you can see we made it that wide so that we can bag the cattle hauler right up to it and that's the exact width of the cattle cattle hauler and so we bagged the cattle hauler up here open that gate up and then we can shoot animals from this open section here and then they go around the back of the mini barn and they come around here close that gate behind them and then they have no choice but to go straight into the cattle hauler and then if we have whether we have whatever the animal may be uh right now we're just using this pen for pigs but eventually we may have like a i don't know like a feedlot cow or something like that or a cow that you know we want to be half separate from the rest of them or something like that you know and uh we can have animals in these pens here you know uh, these are 16 by 16 pens here we have one 16 by 16 pen here and then we have another 16 by 16 corral we call them corrals here and uh this one is dry there have been no animals on this this section here for at least man maybe a year or so and so uh i'll probably be getting these boars moved out of here and, and it's still dry in here as well but uh, they just been in there for a while and uh, they, they've been leaning on their water and they have a, this spot right here mucky. So I'll probably take these boars and move them over here. Or I can separate the boars because uh, we have three boars in there right now. And I only really want to have two. Uh, our main boar, which is Mr. Joe, and then one of the little JoJo's, we call them. <laughs> we have a little extra JoJo, you know, just in case something happens to Mr. Joe. And it's always, you know, wise to have an extra, extra male around the farm. We used to have just one male and, uh, you know, a male would die and that would be it. So yeah, we had these two two corrals here, and uh, if you want to make it bigger, you can take we, we can take down this middle section here. It's just cattle panels, and uh, we made a mistake by putting these cattle panels up because, as you can see, we had to put down smaller wire at the bottom because uh, you know, like I said, the baby pigs they just go right through there. You know, for the first six months of their lives until they get big enough, you know, they just go right through there and they be all over the place. And so we had to put up just small little fence around. We had to put up, you know. Uh, pallets and just all type of stuff to block them off and we finally got a system <laughs> where we can keep these baby pigs in because there's some little escape artists and uh mr joe he was one of the ones i see if i can pull up a video of mr joe when he was little 
That's that's Mr. Joe. Let's see. Let's zoom in on. That's Mr. Joe right there. He used to be little Mr. Joe, but now he's Big Joe. <laughs> but yeah, I see if I can pull up some video of Mr. Joe when he was small and we had to catch him. He was all over the place, all on the neighbor's property everywhere. But yeah, and then we have this section out here. And then we also have these uh, stalls here. And these stalls are just made just for farrowing. You know, we can't, we have put uh, like animals that we've just gotten before in here, in these stalls. As y'all can see, I have another wood stove in there. I, I am a wood stove collector. I love to restore wood stoves and uh, install wood stoves. I've installed about four or five already, and I've restored about three or four. You know, so it's I just love it. It's just something that I enjoy to do, enjoy doing. So I'm gonna eventually restore that one as well and hook that one up somewhere. But yeah, we got a stall here. This stall here doesn't have a door on it, and uh, then we have another stall here. And uh, we usually deep bed these stalls with wood chips if we're gonna put animals in there. And uh, we have little barrel waters with a, with, a, with a water nipple on there. Pig water nipple. That's just, that's just a, the most efficient way we found so far to be able to water hogs. But yeah, that's, that's, that's the fair one barn section. And this barn, this is the first structure that we built on the farm. And we built this whole structure out of repurposed material. We didn't buy, I think we might have bought a couple boards to put up on this uh, thing. I think it might have been like a couple of these two by fours or something like that, M maybe. I, I can't even remember if we bought that plywood or not, but uh, we tore down an old chicken coop. We first started farming from a, from a, a guy's house, and uh, we used the material off the chicken coop. The tin came out that chicken coop. This siding came off of it. A lot of the tin on the roof, and uh, we used to sell dog kennels. Uh, some of you oldies know about it, but the newbies, my newbies might not know. But uh, if you can see this metal structure here, and uh, if you can look in the inside, you'll see the rest of it as well. But uh, we we were in the dog kennel business. And we actually uh, bred and sold Rockweilers. And uh, that, was, that was before we had Blue Hillers and before we started farming. And uh, we had a, a, a kennel called IAG Kennels. You know, it's all about God Kennels. And, uh, you know, we ended up selling actual, we bred dogs, Rockweilers, uh, German Rockweilers registered, uh, AKC registered German Rockweilers. And we also built and sold actual dog kennels. So we would sell people a dog, you know, we would breed Rockweilers and sell a dog. And we would also sell them a dog kennel because a lot of people just wanted, wanted dogs, but they didn't have, you know, uh, backyards or, or, or fencing on their property. And so we would sell them a dog kennel and we would go put it up and deliver it and we were all over the place. Like that business was really successful. And uh, we ended up, the Lord gave us the farm vision. And uh, we actually had a problem. It was around the time, I can't remember if it was the time around coronavirus or I can't remember what was happening, but the price of metal went up and uh, we were getting our material from China. You know, that's where everything comes from. You can't really operate a business, you know, <laughs> successful if you can't get your material from China because you can't compete with other places. And so we're getting our material from China and then some, some stuff arose with uh, a problem getting the material. And in order to get the material, we were actually going to have to fly to China and take possession of the material, sign off on it in China and then fly back and then the material will be deliver, delivered to us that way. You know, there was no way that they were trying to let, let us get it because we had to go take possession of it, you know, and then it had to go instead of going uh through the area had to go like on train and on boat and things like that so we had to actually go in person and take take possession of it and it just became too too hectic for us and chaotic and uh it just really wasn't in order and then that was around the same time the lord started giving us the vision for the farm and uh you know we had some money saved up from you know selling dog kennels and we had money that we were going to use to invest back into that ieg kennel business and uh we also you know the lord was giving us the vision for the farm and so we ended up, you know, spending that money, cashing out that business and spending that money on this property. And that's how we bought this first property debt free. And uh, it's just an amazing story. You know, I know I told it before, but it's always good to remind some of the new viewers how we got here. <laughs> you know, like we got here on this debt free journey by cashing out one of our businesses that we had before, IAG Kennels. And then we started off just with all repurposed material, tearing down old barns. We didn't have a whole lot of money, you know, because we cashed out everything that we had. And so we had an old camper, like this this camper that we had last is our third camper. You know, we had a big fifth wheel camper that we paid, I think, $1,700 for. And it was falling apart, <laughs> just like the other one was. And we uh, ended up, you know, redoing it and making it nice. And we ended up selling that camper that we redid to buy the Woodland property down the road. Like, it's just amazing stories of how, you know, we've been able to, like, just build up slowly and get to the point to where we are. So we sold that fifth wheel camper, bought it for $1,700, sold it for about $5,000 or $7,000, something like that, used that cash to put towards buying the, the Woodland property down the road. And that's that property is like five or 10 acres down there. 
and we're still praying about what to do with that property. I know I'm talking y'all to death, but uh, it's, it's, it's a chill day today. So don't, don't, don't work me to death on every video. <laughs> Let me talk a little bit. I know, I know some of y'all like to listen to me talk. You know, I know y'all mostly like to hear Megan talk, but I got stuff to say too. <laughs> I love it. But anyway, you know, uh, we're still praying about what to do with that Woodland property down there because uh, I, I think every day I think about selling it, you know, and I, I lean towards selling it. I've had neighbors uh, approach me about selling it, and uh, I'm still praying about it. But but I'm leaning towards selling it right now and because uh, I, I, it's like we have property in two places now. And neither one of those properties, this property is five acres. That property down there is somewhere around seven to ten acres, something like that. So we have around 15 acres all together. But it's in two properties. And uh, we're definitely going to keep this property here. Like, I'm, I, I I have no no plans to sell this property. But I also we also want to have, you know, 100 to 1,000 acres in the future. You know, because we know that that's what we're going to need to accomplish the vision and the dreams and the goals that the Lord has given us. And so we don't want to have, like, five acres here, ten acres here, and then... 50 60 acres somewhere else you know because i barely go down to that property down there now so uh yeah i kind of want all of our property to be together i just want to have a hundred to a thousand acres all together you know on one parcel you know uh so yeah i'm just praying about that trying to figure out what the lord wants us to do with that and uh yeah but these pigs are doing good i'm, I'm proud of megan proud of you megan for training these pigs up and, and taking over the farm chores and being just a beast you know just a soldier you know uh and a lot of women can take take courage and encouragement from Megan and, and what she did during that season. Like y'all say, carried those heavy uh, buckets of feed, <laughs> you know, feeding the animals and just sacrificing herself. But that's what it takes sometimes. You know, it's, it's not going to be easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. You know, if, if Megan sat around and fancy hairdos and fancy jewelry and all that type of stuff, we'll be somewhere in the city or somewhere living in an apartment right now. You know, so it's like, it's, it's a worthy sacrifice right now. Cause one day she might, you know, cause uh, Me Megan used to get her hair done and all that type of stuff. But in this season right now, it's important for us to focus and not spend time at the hairdresser and things like that, but to do those things ourselves, you know, but one day those things might happen again, but even if they don't, we're fine. You know, we're doing what the Lord wants us to do. And this is an amazing thing. And uh, hopefully, you know, somebody out there that's being encouraged by the sacrifices that we're making about the things that we're doing because we're building something, you know, something amazing. Like I say, we, we've never paid a mortgage. We've never rented an apartment. Every place that we've ever, ever stayed in our whole lives, we've owned it, <laughs> you know, and so it's just a beautiful thing. And so we know this process. And uh, if you want to get to the same place and do some of the things that we're doing, you're going to have to make some of the same sacrifices that we're making in order to get here. So, yeah, but I'm, I think I'm going to go and get this rabbit. And uh, I'm going to go get some material. I, I got to feed the sheep first. I'm going to feed the sheep first. Then I think I'm going to go get this rabbit cage. I got to figure out how to get it down here. I might get the side by side and pull the side by side right there so I don't have to carry it so far. And then just uh, haul it over top of that fence. I might get the boys to help me. But yeah, so I think I'm going to get this rabbit. Dude, I'm going to feed the sheep, get this rabbit, and then figure out how I can get this cage attached to this wall here so we can have a little rabbit, rabbit hutch here. And maybe we can get a female and start breeding some rabbits. All right, y'all, I'll pick y'all up in a minute. Hopefully, I didn't bore y'all to death talking to y'all to y'all this much. See y'all in a minute. Emma.
Yeah, I really get a chance to come down here into this section of the pasture. But I love it down here. You just get to see a whole nother angle of the farm down here in this flat section. And uh, this is like the bottom of the creek here. This is where the creek runs off it, off into the woods over there off our property. But I'm going over here to the chicken coop. Got a surprise for y'all. Let's see if let's see if they got a surprise for us. <laughs> but yeah, this is just beautiful back here. I love it. Let me show you how this this angle of Emma back here. Get a whole another view. You see how 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 far up on the hill Emma is. I know y'all can see. See through those woods there. Oh Emma, back there on the hill. House on the hill. <laughs> Yeah, she is beautiful. I love it. Your yeah, plan is to come in here and get all of this forage, uh, forest at least, all these little trees cut down. I'm gonna just leave that big pecan tree there. And uh, there's a big pecan tree there as well. I'm gonna cut around that one. And there's two big oak trees down there. So I'm gonna clear these pastures out over the winter. So next year, it'll all be grass. Cause uh, that, 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 that little section right there where it's kind of wooded at that silver pasture, it, you couldn't even walk through there. Uh, see if I can find some video of it. But we put the pigs in there and uh, they, they cleared it out under there. And then I brought the tractor in and did the rest. But I need to get a chainsaw and drop the rest of these little small trees and just leave this big tree here for shade. Yeah, but let me go over here to this chicken coop and see if we have a surprise this morning. What's up chickens? How's it going? Y'all ready to come out? Let's see. Let's see what they got in here for us. Can y'all see that? Let me let the chickens out real quick. Now I can show y'all. Show y'all how surprised. Got two eggs in there. <laughs> it's amazing. We used to get so many eggs from our chickens back in the day. I'm talking about more than we could eat, more than we can handle, more than we can give away. So it feels funny to be happy <laughs> about two eggs. But uh, we had these two little hens here. We, had, we hadn't even really built our chicken, chicken flock back up. But uh, we had these two little hens. Yeah, two hens and two roosters. <laughs> and, uh, so uh, these two hens are laying us two eggs, hopefully a day. And so uh, I started back feeding them. Got them some fresh bedding in there. Got them a, a, a nesting box there. I just keep a little bit of food in that little tin there because we don't give them much. Because they, they mostly free range. We let them out during the day. And uh, what's up, duck? You better figure out how to get in there. <laughs> nah, I threw the duck out a little handful of food because he can't hardly get in the chicken coop. He can't walk up this ladder back here. But yeah, uh, we let them out during the day and they go back in on their own at night and we lock them up so they can be safe and then let them right back out in the morning. So yeah, hopefully uh, I'm gonna leave those eggs in there because we're trying to just get them used to laying in here. We actually found the egg out in the middle of the field over by Emma the other day. <laughs> I almost stepped on it, but uh, that's what actually let me know that they were laying, they let, that's what actually let me know that they were laying eggs. And we came and checked the chicken coop and there were eggs laying up under there. And I so I got in here and cleaned it up, got all of the, Boo boo out, put down a little bit of hay and uh, gave them a nesting box. And so now they're laying inside this nesting box. All right, y'all, let's get this closed down and uh, get on over here and figure out how we can, what, what we can do with this rabbit. Let's get them 
some time to it now. Y'all can uh, close your books and read my homeschool project. Come on out here, we're gonna figure out how we can hang this rabbit cage. Well, I wanna take a ride in the whip bearing your mind. Take me all around to the thinking places where you spend your time. Ain't no place I'd rather go. You're a funny little critter and I love you so. And I wanna take a ride in the wheel bearing your mind. Chair. Coffee party, nice and hot, we can sit in our underwear. Tell me about the dreams you had last week, swimming all around with the fish in the sea. Come sit down with me in a rocking chair. Alright, so I think that's about good. Now we just gotta figure out how we're gonna get it into the, the middle barn in there. I think we can put it on the back of the side by side and then just toss it over, over the fence and then we'll go get the rabbit and get it and put it on the back of the side by side and then me and the boys hit the boys hit me uh you know handle it over the fence. So let's get on to the next step, try to get this rabbit inside this minute barn so it can be protected from the from the predators.
Where y'all at? Y'all ain't trying to do no work? Now we asked the question, who's gonna do all the work? I ain't know it's gonna be me. What you gotta say about that? You working on getting fired today, ain't it, boy? Hmm? <laughs> I'm just playing. Y'all doing good. What about you? Good. You trying to get fired today, too, boy? No. Huh? huh? No. Huh? 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 No. Huh? All right, y'all ready to work? I got, I got the, uh, I got the little, little crate in there. That, that we're gonna put the rabbit cage on top of. Now we just need to get the rabbit cage loaded in the back of the side by side. Yeah. Y'all ready? Let's go. All right, let's see. Let's see how we gonna do this, Mr. Rabbit. We finna get you to a safe, safe home. You're not safe in here, buddy. All right. And then we're gonna try to get you a wife. What are we gonna name y'all? That, 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 that's too uh, too powerful of a name right there to just get somebody. I don't know, we'll figure something out for you, Mr. Rabbit. And then we'll find you a wife so y'all can have some rabbit babies. Let's get you loaded up for now, though, and get you safe. Actually, think that might have worked, y'all. We still have a little bit of. Oh, uh, just wait one second, Toss. We actually have it backwards. We need to turn it around. The door is on the back side. How we gonna get in there, boys? We put the door on the back. Mr. Rabbit, we're gonna turn you around one more time, and then you'll be good after that. But I think it worked, y'all. Uh, I might put some little little shims up under there to kind of level it up a little bit. But uh, and then I might I might come in and put like some nails and bend some nails over, just so the cage won't slide back and forth. And then maybe put like a piece of plywood that he can stand on, you know, and get off this cage material so it won't hurt his feet. But yeah, it, it looks like it's working so far. So uh, I'm going to do a little bit more work to it. And then we just pick y'all up once we're done. All right, y'all, we took us a break. Megan has a ride at the farm. 
And we're taking her down to show her what we did with the rabbit today. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. They've been telling me about mm -hmm. it. Tim Jr. said, we hung up the rabbit. I said, hung it up. Right, like we, we're not butchering it. <laughs> we're giving it a home. So I'm going to have to see what they've done. Mm -hmm. I got the boys. Oh, look, good job. Look at Tim, that. Tim, you got the food? Mm -hmm. Everybody has their assignment. Tim, got food. Hold your food up, Tim. Got the rabbit food. Ties, you got hay for the rabbit. Ties has hay. And it's my job to have the water and then the screws or the nails. I have nails. And the board, they say. And the board. We got the board right here. Noah, I'm going to put you on the board. Where y'all's boots? Y'all need boots? Y'all can't go in the pig pen without boots. Go put your boots, your boots on. on. Yeah. We'll meet y'all down there. And don't forget just, the board, Just no. put down your uh, stuff. Right. Put down your, uh, the hay and, and the Yeah, the put food. that down. Just put it down right there. Come back and get it. Yeah. See, we all have our assignment. Have to actually, have to go around here and I uh, get the hammer put these in my pocket before I drop one that's all it takes to get a flat tire oh yes please <laughs> I know y'all were talking about why didn't you pull the van here pull oh, the van yeah. that's why because uh, you pick up a screw and it's over with I mean Tim yeah because we, we, we've had a lot of uh like debris out in front of Emma, and so we tried not to, you know, pull the van in those areas where all that debris has been, mm -hmm. because we just got four brand new tires put on yes. the van. So if you all are watching the video and you see something that seems just crazy, why didn't they do this? Know that there's probably a reason. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to panic. <laughs> My tires were like Swiss cheese. Yeah, exactly. I, I had plugged them things so many, so many times. times. Mm -hmm. So now they got me some new tires. I'm like extra. Super duper careful. Extra careful. For real. <laughs> yep. Let's see. Go down here. Get this hammer. I probably could have reached it from the inside. See, I got the side by side over there. That's how we're getting things in. Hey, you can stay right there. I'll go around and grab this hammer real quick. Yeah, on the farm, you really just like this tall grass. I know it's snakes in this tall grass, but on the farm, you really just gotta, you know, be brave. <laughs> For real. I got my boots on. Let's see, where is that hammer? There you go. Yeah, we actually we saw a snake over here not long ago. It was a non venomous snake, though. Got a couple of nails, some smaller nails. And the hammer. Get in here and get this rabbit finished off and settled in. Yeah, I was telling everybody that uh, on the farm you really just have to be brave because we know it's snakes in this grass. Yeah. But you just put your boots on and say your prayers in the morning. Make sure your life insurance is updated. <laughs> and uh, you just gone in there. Yeah, but I told him we saw a snake over there. Mm -hmm. Not long ago. None venomous, none venomous one. All right, you got the board, Noah? You got the hay titers? Mm -hmm. got, got the grain, Tim? All right. I got my nails and hammer. Get in here and get this thing finished off. Uh oh. Speaking of dropping nails. Thank you. You'll get the gate for us, Mama. Why are they act so crazy when you come down here? I fed y'all already. I fed y'all. They say it's not the same. It's not the same. We, we like when she feed us. She know how to she know how to put the food together better than you do. These animals are tricky. They make you think they haven't been fed. Mm-hmm. When a new person comes. For real. They say she can cook that grain better than you can. Uh, maybe because we have food in Oh, yeah, you do have grain, I forget. <laughs> they might snap that out your hand. You better keep it up high when you go in there. Yes, sir. Mm. You good, uh, no, with your board. You don't need to hold your board up high. Hold your board regular. Thank you. Mm. All right, y'all ready? Let's get in here. Mm. Get your own gate booty, mama. I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot we had the bucket. We got grunt. Come on, Ty. Just hold it up high. Don't step on that. There you go. You're all right. We don't have crazes anymore.
Hey, y'all can come on this way. I, I grab y'all stuff once y'all get to the gate. Pretend you can hand me that your grain. I'll put it up here for you. Yep, hand me that board. I'll put that right there. Tyler, you can hand me the bucket. I'll put the bucket here. So y'all get over. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, I'll hand y'all y'all stuff as soon as y'all get down. You got it, no? Don't fall, no? He got it. Oh, yeah, he got it. Alright. Titus, bucket. Tim. Grain. Noah. Board. Let's see where is it here. There you go, no. Thank you. All right. All right, Pig, get back. I'm gonna go around this way too. Hopefully, we remember everything. So piggies. All right, what you think, Mom? It looks great. Good. Get in, said. Um, I mean, so that's his bone. Oh yeah, I, I I fed him in the well. Did I feed him on the ground? I think I fed him in the paint thing. Oh. And then okay. Gideon keeps the silver bowl. Okay. Yeah. Here you want to cool while we sure. get this fixed up. Trying to get some uh, solar lights set up in here now. I think I still have a little rabbit feeder. Okay. Somewhere. Sound like you said, I stink. No. I, I it's think. A, it's a rabbit feeder in that uh, paint thing on the uh, door. Yes, yes. No, I work on it. It'd be pretty easy to get out and once you get it mucked up. You better move, rabbit. Hey, there I go. They think that's right. They're curious now, even though they're going to run away. Right. So you look at them. <laughs> oh, I look at the young just a little bit more. Mm. Everybody's on down tomorrow. Um, I've been enough of them to get started with. Mm -hmm. and then my job is water. I had the idea because we got some good probiotic water over here <laughs> in the pig pen. There you go. Pro probiotics. <laughs> That's some good bacteria. Mm -hmm. Keep healthy. Huh? Well, no, if the rabbit good. likes the hay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. A snack for him, too. Yeah. Yeah. Water comes out of it. Mm -hmm. Down the hill. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> Zip ties. Where's the cut those? Zip ties. Over there. Yeah, I think the boys were coming up with a name. What were the names y'all came up with? Boys? Uh, and Daniel. Daniel with mm -hmm. a nickname Dan. All right, Dan. Dan. Then we, then we got a sound on the wife. <laughs> Come on, let's over here, baby. Dan. Right there. There you go. Then there's me. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Tank or Dobby. Yeah, there. there you go. Then there's the tank. That's as long as I had rabbits. I know. That was like our main animal. We, we had this, this belief that you uh what was the thing about you could raise more meat with than a yeah, cow, cow yeah. How, how, how do we figure that out because of the amount of uh meat to bone ratio, yeah, meat to bone ratio. of the yeah. rabbit and how many rabbits yeah. we thought we could raise we, we had it all down pat uh, back then uh, we could like say it to where we uh, sounded like we knew what we were talking about but now we realize <laughs> that the rabbits just all die you yes. have a bunch of rabbits and they die we think, oh yeah, rabbits reproduce so fast. You mm -hmm. get a bunch of rabbits, but ours was just were just so feeble. Yeah. So. 
All right, y'all. It's been a fun farm day. I'm glad to be back to doing farm chores. I might do them tomorrow, too. See, I'm, I'm just ready. I'm getting back into the rhythm. And uh, what you think about that, Meg? Get it. I, I got to ask permission from the lady at the house. You can do I as I can do many farm chores as you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. That, that, but that's that's a good thing because that just lets us know that we're, we're almost to that the, the finishing mm -hmm. finishing stages on, on Emma and the restoration of Emma and renovation of Emma. Well, it's a beautiful thing. And we have new animals on the farm. And uh, it's just Same. it's amazing. Fall time. Perfect weather. Y'all enjoying it, boys? Yeah! yeah. All right, y'all. So we're going to end today's video here. Is I at your phone? Oh, no, we'll see y'all on the next one. Can't get right. Yeah. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Yeah.